Hey guys, what's going on? We're out here from Rugged Outdoors. This big chick and the pups over there. Uh, we're up in Maine today. It's a beautiful Saturday. Um, it's around noontime. Uh, it's probably like, I don't know, 40 something degrees or something. Um, we're at West Branch Preserve, um, part of the Mid Coast Conservancy. And we're gonna hike out in the woods and uh, stay at a lean-to shelter tonight. Um, cook up some mad food and just have a good time. Yeah, carrying a lot of weight. Um, I have a huge food bag on me and my 70 pound, my 70 liter, well it's not, probably close to 70 pounds. <laughs> uh, my 70 liter pack on. Um, I got a lot of cooking gear. I brought a Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven and uh, tons of food. We're gonna make up a stew over the fire. Um, make a little cooking tripod and... Well guys, we just found it. And there's a lot of snow here. <laughs> I didn't bring a shovel, which could be a problem because the fire pit's buried. But we'll figure it out. Birch bark's got some wet wood on the back, so didn't want to really go. from venturing all day. Fucking... Hey, are you tired? <laughs> ben. Ben. Penny. Ben. Penny, look. Are you tired, Ben? <laughs> Got my cooking tripod going here. Just cut up that sapling. And just, uh... Look at that. Well, ain't that fancy. We're like legit in the middle of Maine wilderness right now. Look at that beast. Can you believe that fit in your pack, <laughs> you psycho? Steak. See that? Whoa. See that steak, man? Can you have that? <laughs> I have stuff that I already cut up. Onions, carrots, and celery. Ooh, that looks fresh. Steak, I partially frozen and it was in the cold bag that I had that. Gold potato, some garlic, um, some spices, and all the other stuff I need. Damn! Flour. And here, I have a box of wine and a box of beef and stuff. 
Okay, this is how we're gonna do this. I have some flour and some oil. So I'm gonna put some oil in the pan. I'm gonna flour the meat, cook that up for a minute in the pan. Get it browned up a little bit. And then I'm gonna pour some wine in to deglaze the pan and uh, get that warmed up. I'm you see a UFO? In, some stock, <laughs> some spices, and we're just gonna let it go. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? UFOs. UFOs? This is what we got. There's all the steak. And she's frying up, starting to get a little brown. Here we have a Bada Mini Red Revolution box wine. Let's try it. Mmm, oh. that's good. Give you a look. Got wine in there. I'm gonna let that boil up for a couple of minutes. Let it boil up. Clean that pan real nice. It's cooking up. It's getting thick from all the flour and stuff. Got all my veggies right here: potatoes, onions, carrots, celery. Make good food. Have some spices. First, have these seasoning packets. These are brown gravy, um, G. Washington's brown gravy packets. These things are awesome. I put this in all my stews. Just gives it like a really good flavor. So I'm gonna put a couple of these packets in. I'm gonna have some pepper and garlic, some a um, little bit of adobo seasoning, I'm throw a little bit of this on there, and I have some light brown sugar, throw in a couple tablespoons of that. There she is, beef stew of champions. So I'm gonna get this fire rolled up again and uh, get her simmering. We'll be looking good, guys. I'm gonna check on the stew, see how she's doing. I'll put a log on here just to kind of keep it more balanced because it's a little unbalanced. believe how good this smells. Look at that bubbly goodness.
some good beef stew, boy. Mmm. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah. I'm gonna let that cool for a little bit. So I will bring you back when we get the food dished out and um, try it and stuff. And, uh, hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Um, we're having an awesome time out here. Like it's amazing. Just, you can hear the river. It's running right behind it's us. It's so down. relaxing. Um, the dogs are over there snoozing in their sleeping bag. Like you gotta too. show that. Show yeah, them show in their you. bags. It's like priceless. <laughs> get the fire going. We get the leave the uh, cook a tripod out of here and get the fire stoked up. Here's the poopies. Camera. Yeah, I can see the eyeballs already. <laughs> You can see the puppies. See you. <laughs> dinner time. I don't know if my battery's gonna make it, but we're having dinner in solo cups. <laughs> That's so classy, man. It is. We got Sea to Summit long spoons. Those spoons are the balls. Hopefully, this doesn't melt the cup. I couldn't find my little bowls. What? <clears throat> Have you like couldn't? Yeah, I don't know where they are. Hot, hot. Oh, this is amazing. That meat just like disintegrates in your mouth. Yeah, right? I'm serious. This is probably the best food I've ever had. How can we all eat like this at home? <laughs> Look at that meat, boy. Look at that meat. Look at that meat and those veggies. And that gravy. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Mad food, guys. Mad food. Do we do, like, cheers? Food cheers? Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, no dip. This stuff is good, let me tell you. The meat does melt in your mouth. It's crazy. That's why we might get mauled by a bear tonight. But, mm. but we uh, finished up dinner. It's so good. There's a little bit left in there. I put it back up on here to keep it warm. We'll have a little midnight snack. So we're just sitting by the fire, having some jack honey, and some beer, beer, and a little fireball. Who's having fireball? Not me. Oh. I'm drinking both. So, oh, thanks yeah. for joining us, guys. Hell yeah, man. Cheers to you. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate oh, it. Oh, I, I can never get the cheers thing right. Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. Good night. I'll see you in the morning.